Hey everybody, how's it going? I thought I'd make this quick video because I couldn't find an answer to this problem uh, that I've got on the internet. And um, yeah, I, I still can't explain it fully, but I can help you fix the problem if you have the same thing. So what I've got here, this is an FTDI USB to serial chip, which I've been using to program my Arduino Mini. This is not a genuine one, obviously, it's just a knockoff from China. Uh, works pretty well, everything seems to work on it, except that um, at some point it just stopped automatically programming it through the uh, FTDI and I had to keep hitting the switch at exactly the right time in order to make it reset and then accept the program uh, down the serial. So that was a complete pain in the butt and I couldn't figure out why and it took quite a lot of work to figure it out. Let me bring it a bit closer. So over here, this blue one here is the DTR. That's the one that's it's normally high and then when you hit program it jumps down low for a very small time and then goes back up to high and continues on and that's supposed to let this chip know that you're programming it and it's time to uh, wait for a program uh, except that the the period for which it's low is too small so what they do here this little component is a 100 nanofarad capacitor so when it when it goes it goes down and then slowly charges the capacitor again like that so you, you get a, a bit of a wedge shape instead of just a spike and that gives this chip a little bit longer to realize that it's time to be programmed problem is the trace on the other side of this capacitor goes to two of these pins and it does so in quite a roundabout fashion and I, I don't know what's wrong but I can't see a problem with the trace uh, but it just doesn't it doesn't work um, whatever happens between this end of the capacitor and this pin here which is the fourth one down from the dot uh, I forget the pin number but that that's the reset pin so what I've done is I've taken a wire off of that one and brought it out on, onto the breadboard and I've added another hundred nanofarad capacitor here and then just linked that in series back to the DTR pin over here. So this capacitor is in parallel with this capacitor uh, to increase the, the capacitance and, and that produced a better waveform when I measured this with the oscilloscope. It actually produced a slower rise time, much smoother looking. Uh, but it still didn't work until I put this really high value resistor over here. Funnily enough, um, if I take this resistor away and I put an oscilloscope probe there, uh, then it works. But if I take the oscilloscope probe away, it doesn't work. So I put a really high value resistor between uh, this side of the capacitor and ground. This just connects to the ground pin there. So hopefully this helps you guys out if uh, you're having the same issue as me. It's absolutely infuriating when you can't automatically program one of these because it really takes um, pretty special timing to hit the reset button and upload. Um, Alright guys, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.